Hi everyone, this is Kasia. I'm feeling artsy and today we're going to draw the Cobra Kai logo. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and three markers. A black one, a yellow one and a red one. We will begin with the black marker. Are you going to draw an arch like this? From this little arch, we're going to draw a loop to the side. Go to the side and draw a shape like this. Fatten it up some and then let's do the same thing on the other side. Now once you have your outside boundaries, we're going to draw another arch just a little bit further in and then follow the lines of the outside and draw a very similar shape inside. This piece will also get fattened up some but it's going to be a little wider here and then skinny on the side and then as we go to the top it's going to fatten even some more so like this. Now here it's going to go down like this and then we're going to instead of drawing another arch we're going to draw a curve like this fill this in and this actually will become a part of a skull a shape like so going to the side we're going to draw a shape like this and then down here we will, we will um, follow the curve again some. Now if I'm going too fast for you, remember just pause, draw in your shape, color it in and then unpause and keep going. Now right underneath this shape we have the skull, so this piece will be the skull. So in here we want to draw, outline some shapes, one like this and one like this and then fill in the in between with black one here that kind of fits in right underneath black line in between and the second shape that fits in here and now we're going to switch to yellow real quick because we're going to draw in his eyes and um, they're kind of like diamonds I don't know how well you can see the yellow I'm just going to color it in and then go around it with black. While I'm waiting on my yellow to dry before I go over it, I don't want to smear it, I'm going to go down some more here. So just straight down a little bit and then come out to each side like this and draw a shape like this. Now this is the cheekbones to the side here, so something like this and then same thing on the other side. So something like this and also a little piece here on the side like this and on this side as well now going down we're gonna have this jaw a straight line from here going down that's gonna arch to the side stop because now we're gonna draw his tongue and to do that we're gonna do two bumps arch down a line in the center another line and then from here a circle like shape that comes down and makes a tongue like this now this jawline has another line going through the center here and then a line here and this fills in with black and same thing on the other side so a curve a second curve and then fill this in now I'm still a little afraid to go for the eyes, so I'm just going to keep going with the black. So here where we have this cut of line, we're going to draw another arch that will follow in here, cut off, and then come in like this. Underneath that, right about at the cheekbone, a little tiny line across, a line down, a line to the side, another arch that this will go down a little bit and now connect inside of this there's an oval that's black and then we can fill all this in with black now on the side of the jaw we're going to draw a line that starts on the side and then goes down towards the tongue 
and then we can fill this part in with black then draw another piece here and the third one right here now you want to be really careful what you color and what you don't the parts that we don't color will either end up white or yellow at the end now I think this is good now so I'm going to draw a little diamond here like this and a second shape like so and same thing on the other side so a diamond and a second shape that turns now on the other side so from this thing that goes straight down towards the eye curve up and now draw a curve a little bump come down and curve out again and now tricky part up down straight up side down to the side straight curve and down and then we will have another loop here so right about here where this widens from this piece I'm going to go up down to the side down up now I need to come back in here with a circle like shape connect this and also connect this now this piece continues here so imagine it going behind the jaw and coming out here this should connect here okay this should connect here and finally this will connect here now this all of this is black okay underneath this we kind of want to go follow the line so like if this is going straight and draw a little line here and same thing on the other side and now connect it with a shape that goes like this on this side we'll have another funny shape so a bump a big curve another bump now these go in like hooks and then they end up in a circle here now let's do some black filling now go on the side here and curve and also again on the side here and curve underneath this piece we're going to draw a bump like so go down to the sides and connect this because this is when we're beginning the, the snake shape now here let's draw the snake shape so go down in an S curve to the side and to the side and to the side and go until you're further out than this and then start going up and turn until we get here this will come down and we turn here and then we're going to fill it in with the stripes that he's got on his front so going to do a bunch of them and you kind of want to curve the sides nicely like this and then fill in everything else with black and then keep adding your stripes some are fatter some are skinnier some are more rounded you can study the um, the Cobra Kai logo to get this very very realistic or just follow mine and do them the way I'm doing them as we're getting down here this line is getting thicker and the stripes are getting smaller okay now this would go here and this is all going to be black it's going to turn about here and 
a parallel line here so this will stay like a light like a yellow and now we need to fill this stripe in with more stripes so almost like drawing a ladder but they're all different shape again and different width and um, in this piece we also have some light so we're going to draw two lines like this or like a rectangle like shape and fill in the shapes around it so this one and this one okay so we have this part of the snake we also he also has a piece of his tail on the other side so imagine this going across here so start about here and then meeting this piece so here and making a loop so a shape like this now this keeps going so i'm going to draw a line and then fill it in again with rectangle like shapes that are really all kinds of different shapes this goes up here and turns and we have some more of those rectangle like shapes there you go and this little piece is all black okay so we drew the snake and now we still have to do the cobra kai letters and the outline of the whole thing um about here you want to draw a pretty big bump that's in the shape of the C because the Cobra Kai C will be right next to it. And then another bump and this one is going to go all the way around our snake. So pretty much just follow the outline of the snake. Try to make the distance about the same. Once you get to this curve of the snake you want to start curving up and then draw a bump around it like so now I'm going to leave this part open and I'm going to switch to my red marker two things we're gonna do with the red marker we're gonna color the tongue and we're going to write the Cobra Kai letters the C you're just gonna write in the C inside this curve and then you're gonna fatten it, but it's kind of skinny here, but then it's fat at the bottom. Then it slims out some and fattens out again. The O is connected to the C, so straight from the C we're going into the O. And again, this is not calligraphy, so it's like fatter on some sides and skinnier on others. Then we have the B that's disconnected from the O, the R. That's a little line and then a bump going to the side like this. And we still have to fit the A in here, so. Like so. Now the K, the line goes right here. So draw your line like this. End it with a bump. Then draw a second one like so that will turn inside. This one is skinny up top and widens and then goes up and back down to this part and this is the weird K now the A and I are connected so you want to draw your A just like if you're writing and then go up to the I and fatten it the I has this kind of shape of a dot on top and now we can go back to the black and draw the outline on this side so down towards the inside of the K up around the K and finally two bumps around the I one two and let's fatten it some okay so that's pretty much it for the Cobra Kai logo now all we have to do left is to color it yellow the yellow goes pretty much everywhere except for the skull part. Okay, my logo is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and come back to see me soon.